So we've rewound, but maybe not quite as far as you thought. Because you probably were expecting me to immediately go all the way back to when we chose to go here or there between the thing that would be, help us kill Detlaf and the thing that led to the fantasy world, which is what I did. Uh, we'll get to that. But first, there's a few other little nuances to the fantasy storyline that I've already done. I'm just going to call it the fantasy storyline. The, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, I mean, it was the fairy tale land. So first of all, I'm going to not talk to Santa, and I'm not going to tell anyone about the murder stuff. And we're going to see how that plays out. And I thought that was the wedding, which is why I stopped there. Not a wedding, sorry. I thought that was the ceremony, but it's just some random jackasses. That's the whole reason I paused right outside of where they were. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. But let's see if we can get a completely different ending for this part. Damien? Damien, get out. It's about time. Ready for the ceremony. All right, we can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly, but she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Your Grace, as head of state, you should look first and foremost after your dominion. Siana's actions, what drove them, be damned. She's a threat to your subjects. You are correct. They are what matters. I must not forget this. Sianna, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I 
I shall never forgive you. Well, shit. Also, rather tragic that those characters are just wandering through the middle of this cutscene, like like we're playing Technomancer or something. Kind of defeats the, the impact of it to have random villagers walking through. <laughs> but damn. If you don't reconcile them, just as expected, even as she admitted herself, she'll straight up kill her. And she found her opportunity and did it. And suffered the consequences immediately. So in this ending, what do you accomplish? The, the uh, Duchess is dead. Sion is dead. Detloff's dead. Uh, you and your vampire go off to drown your sorrows, I guess, because nothing... <laughs> nothing was was saved. But you know what? At least he's going to be hunted forever by other vampires, so at least there's that. Yep. That's about as bad as the ending could possibly get. No, everyone's completely screwed in a different way. Except Geralt, I suppose. He got paid. He technically did his job already. He just... I mean, he fucked up and he gets to live with that, but otherwise, he guess he gets to go on with his life. Need some flowers, a wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral, folk took it all. Men, women, children, all wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Windflowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, uh, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? No one suspected Sian would be merciless. Not Damien, not me. Least of all the Duchess. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. Now there's a solemn, solemn view right there. She stands as being one of the only uh, liked leaders in the entire Witcher universe that I've, at least as, as far as I've experienced in this game. Every leader of every kingdom seems to be mad for power, or literally mad, or in the case of Skellige, at the very least controversial and short-lived and tumultuous. But she's been around for a while now, and seems like everyone more or less had her in favor. And she was a go-getter. She didn't just order stuff around, she would rip her dr dress off and hop on a horse and go solve problems herself. And... Always being around and on the surface of stuff is probably part of how she died. This isn't her grave though, is it? This is just a memorial? Striking visual, for sure. Oops, sorry. Just shoved somebody at a funeral. So it seems the grave must be way over here. Are we, are we visiting that graveyard we've been to before, or, or does she get buried elsewhere? 
It'd be kind of disappointing to realize that she's getting buried in that place that's constantly being robbed. As far as I've seen. Oh. I think that's exactly where we're going. That's a bummer. This place is full of grave robbers all the time. Not a good place to put her. Is it? Oh, yeah. She's got the big center stone. Or maybe not. Nope, she's down below. It's all the more... I guess it's all the more, like, foreshadowing you spent so much time down here, after all. Witcher. I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. It is a bit of a dark tragedy, isn't it? A twisted sort of ending could be... Uh, only wait, one grave or both. Ah. Uh, in a dark sort of way, you can't help but wonder... I don't know. It'd be interesting if they both just came out as ghosts, like has happened already a bit down here. We had a weird sort of follow-up. But it's probably best and least cheesy to leave it where it lay. But it was a tragic split from unfortunate circumstances and awful parents setting all of this in motion. Crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, uh, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. Feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. They fully committed. I half expected that castle cutaway to just jump directly to the scene with uh, the vampire in the other graveyard, but CD Projekt Red knows better, and we got that entire extra scene as follow-up.
and you, you feel the loss of the character in a way that you may have not otherwise. And they, they know to they know to make good on that after all the work they put in. All those deaths I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now two sons left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more mm, philosophical, pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Those Bruxae, they called you a traitor. No, just not the life for me. Sure, might stop by there occasionally, stay the winter, fill up on wine. But I'd rather keep moving. It's not a choice being a witcher. And once you are one, you're one for life. You can't just step off the path. Besides, plenty of work left for me in the world. Ghouls aren't gonna kill themselves. Rather droll, isn't it, that each time we meet, something harrowing must happen? I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. How could it not? Oh. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accom- Appearances, Geralt. Kill. <sighs> so we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.